All right, here we go with some oil pastel techniques. You can basically use, until you get to part two, you can use any colors that you want. This is just to sort of get a sense for the ways of mixing oil pastels, which again are sort of like drawing with paint. So stippling is, uh, I say dots, but um, really because because these are not very wieldy, they don't like make great dots, so it could be more of like small dashes. But stippling is making a bunch of small marks that overlap each other. This is a more like textural way of color blending. So I'm just sort of making smaller marks and overlapping them. We may see some paper through and that's fine. So this is a little bit more of like a textural dotty kind of situation. So that would be stippling. Color blending, I should have put it in parentheses, that means with oil. So we're going to add white, add white. So color blending is with oil, so this is gonna be a really smooth look. So I'm gonna lay down some color, these, um, lay down these two colors, and then this is baby oil, and so it will like sort of soak through and go, um, but then I put it on my Q-tip, and then here where they're overlapping, I'm actually making like a brand new color, and the oil is gonna just loosen up the medium so it becomes more smooth so that's going to be a really gentle transition if you're if you want to do like really smooth transition not very textury um, using oil and doing color blending you can always add more in it's a good way to do that and that's a good way to actually make like a whole new color um, then color mixing hard and color mixing soft is about the amount of pressure that you're putting on your tool so Hard means you're just pushing hard. And it will be, because you're pushing hard and because these are pretty nice oil pastels, it is gonna end up being pretty smooth. You'll get pretty good coverage, but you can always just go back and forth until you get the color that you're looking for. So again, I'm pushing hard. So that's what color mixing hard is. I'm pushing hard, I'm getting a lot of coverage. <laughs> Color mixing soft, we're gonna see more of the paper. You could even maybe use the side of it. But color mixing soft is just not pressing very hard. So this is much more about transparency and layering. And you may see the color of the paper through. So this is just sort of like personal preference, what you like the way it looks. I don't really like color mixing soft. I'm just not that kind of gal, but that's that. And then scumbling is my favorite. Scum and we'll be working, like oil pastels are amazing for mixing colors um, and getting great coverage. They're not super good for detail because they're big and you can't really get super precise with them. But scumbling is gonna be a very textural way. And this is like small controlled, I say circles or scribbles. I always do it in circles. And, um, you know, depending on the amount of area you're covering, like this ends up looking a lot like color mixing hard here because I'm doing it in such a small area. And then people love this one. This is graffito is the last one. And don't forget that you have your rags at your table to clean off the ends of your, um, clean off the ends of your oil pastels if you don't want to have a different color on there. Don't worry about that. So I'm going to, Scraffito is applying. Now you could, and I was just talking to someone in here, you could do this. Um, it doesn't have to be light underneath and dark on top, but I find it works. It just looks cooler. It's a better effect if you do. So I'm putting down a layer of my lightest color, and then I'm going to put a layer of the darker color over top. And then Scraffito means I'm scratching into it. So then you get, you're able to get those more like precise details. So those are the wild and crazy oil pastel techniques. Um, and you will be mixing colors um, in this project. So those are different ways to do it. The oil pastel techniques too, 
is about um, reviewing your color information. So I'm not going to do it right here, but I can, I will say what it is. Uh, so create a value range. Value me range means dark to light or light to dark. So dark to light. And that could mean you're using different values of a color like di light blue and dark blue, or it could mean you're adding white and adding black. I will help you. Hold on. Uh, cool color to warm color. Look at your color wheel. Remember what those are. Two warm hues. Create a tint means we're adding white. And create a shade means you're adding black. There should be lots of extra black and whites in your boxes. And if you don't have those, um, you can ask me and I will give them for you.